Okay, let's uh, pick up with this scratch building project. Uh, if you recall, we're working on a, a water tank in HO scale. It's a small water tank from my uh, logging railroad. So it's not some 100,000 gallon tank. This tank will be about a 10,000 gallon tank when we're done. Um, as the basis for the actual tank, I'm going to use this wooden uh, napkin ring that I picked up at Michael's uh, sometime in the past walking through the aisles. I'm always you know, looking for things that might be useful in our hobby. And I just looked at this ring and said, uh, you know, that would be a good start for either a water tank or a pickle vat or, you know, any cylindrical tank that we might uh, storage tank for oil or whatever. So I picked a few up. And uh, here's a project where it'll finally uh, get some use. Now, you can see that this napkin ring has a couple deep grooves in it. So it's not entirely a flat surface to glue on. And I thought it would be good to wrap this uh, in a, a paper tube. I've used uh, cardboard tubes on other modeling projects, and I like it because strip wood glues very nicely to, to cardstock, um, and it's just a nice medium, easy to cut, and, and so forth. And uh, in, in the last video, I explained that you know I, we spent uh, 70. One seventy-two years living in New Jersey and 43 years in our last house and I started saving these tubes from wrapping paper and everything else of every possible diameter and I had quite a collection, pretty much a 42 year uh, collection of tubes. But when we moved here to Michigan, the tubes didn't make the move. Um, and so I'm starting off fresh so I don't have the kind of selection I used to have. This paper towel tube uh, the ring does fit inside, but uh, you, you really you need to put something inside because the tube is too flexible and you, you don't want it to become a, an oblong. You want it to remain uh, nice and cylindrical. So you want something sturdy inside it. And if you look, and I think you can see this when I squeeze, there's extra room here. It's just, uh, I got to deal with that. But the idea of putting something stiff inside of a uh, paper tube to stiffen it up is one I've used before. And so I'm always looking for uh, things that work as stiffeners. This is a smaller tube. Um, didn't want to use it for this because I wanted a slightly larger water tank. And this is uh, the ring from inside a scotch tape uh, dispenser. And that makes a nice tight uh, insert to, uh, to use. So if I was making, for instance, an N-scale water tank, you could make a nice size water tank using uh, a tube from you know wrapping paper and a couple of these inserted inside to to be the stiffener. Now when you squeeze it doesn't go oblong on you. But I'm looking at uh, using the, the napkin holder. So how do I deal with the fact that this tube is too big? Well first I I cut a piece off the tube uh, that is larger, uh, taller I should say, than uh, the tank because I'm going to be putting a a disc on top of there to act as the top of the tank and I wanted a little bit extra. You never want to be a little bit too short. If anything you want to be a little bit too tall because I can easily cut that excess off after everything is glued with my uh, razor blade. So what I decided to do since I had that extra slop was to uh, cut this tube with the scissors and just you know break it open and then wrap it tightly around that core as tight as I could letting it overlap then I took my trusty pencil and I drew a line right down there where it's overlapping and now let me just get up and show you this close up I think you can see that now that pencil line is where I am going to just take my scissors cut that off And now we know when we put this back around here, it is going to fit nice and tight. With no slop, perfect fit. I can now glue this on here. 
I'll glue this disc on top and when everything is dry I'll be ready to go. As far as making the disc is concerned, this is balsa wood, very easy to cut. I just need a solid top on my tank. So I uh, took this, now that it's the size, I measured the inside diameter and I actually used uh, my compass to do so. I opened it up until it just touched the inside, got that measurement, cut it in half for the radius, I swung my uh, circle around here on the balsa wood and then cut it out with my trusty number 11 blade and trimmed it up nice and smooth with my filing stick and I'm good to go. Now here's the end result. Here is my, well I'll call it the substructure for my, for my water tank. Onto this I am going to glue vertical uh, pieces of strip wood um, and then we'll have our uh, bands around the outside. I'll cover the top with strip wood. Uh, this line here that you can see is so that when I go to glue, uh, glue my strip wood on, uh, I, I can keep it nice and get that first one right against that line and every other one's going to butt up on that. And I drew one vertical line down here for the same purpose. I can just glue the first stick on and once that's there everyone else will guide off of it. So in the next segment we'll take a look at, uh, you don't have to watch me glue a whole bunch of sticks on here, but uh, when I got those on we'll come back and pick up this project.